So, here's the game box. A very simple handheld console built with an Arduino and the box it came in. I'll show you inside, it's the same as the pictures, there's no real improvements to this over what I've posted already online. This is used as a mount so when the box is closed the circuit board can rest on this rather than floating in the air. I've already lost a couple of these little stud things that hold it in place so it's even more useful now. The buttons are standard arcade ones, there's a couple of types of these you can get. These ones I actually prefer because they've got a plastic uh, sort of surround that grips and holds that in place. The other ones I got just rely on the fact that the screw thread holds it into the box. So, let me put some batteries on this. So hopefully you can see that on the video. Very simple menu, one button goes forward to the next game, the other button plays the game. Here you can see your players on the left, and by pressing the action button I get to jump over the barrels, or not as the case may be. The right button is the action button, that does all the jumping and playing in game. However, because there's only two, if you keep hammering the button, you're liable to restart the game. So what I've done is I've made that button go back to the menu rather than restart the game. So I'll uh, have a quick game of that so you can maybe see it properly. Let's, or at least see me getting a score higher than single digits. Okay. Now all the source code for this is on my GitHub account. Take it, play with it, and most probably remove the annoying music. Also, the scores are actually kept, so if you open up the box or if you cut a hole in the box to connect Ethernet, there's actually a web server running on the game box as well, so you can actually see how many games you've played. I'll save that for another video, another day. I want to, just want to get over that other barrel. There we go. Okay, no, board, board now. So. The other game on here is Hangman. This is quite interesting from the sole point of view of it's still a game I lose even though I know what the words are and the fact that the selection process is quite tricky. Okay, I, I got lucky with the A's there. So there's one button which cycles through each of the letters in the alphabet. Uppercase means you haven't selected it yet, lowercase means you have. And you can see it also misses out what letters you've chosen before, so it becomes a little easier in that respect. You don't have to keep going through all 26 letters to try and get it. Uh, another feature that this has is the code has an alphabet list. So if you don't want it in alphabetical order, but you want it in the most frequently occurring letters order, E-T-A-O-N, I think, then you can switch it to that as well. So let's... Uh, I really have no idea what this word is going to be. And the lives counter, you can see on the top right, counting down. Never going to be X, is it? So you have not chosen E. Oh, okay. Tell you what, maybe I will cheat and I'll just find my word list. Let me scroll up. See. Oh yes, I know what it is now. Um, oh, no I don't. Okay, so that's the game box. Very, very simple, but hopefully it gives you an idea on what I'm doing with it. Hope you have a chance to make one yourself. Download the code, have a play. See you all online.